considerable uh, information on the Western Mass Casino Task Force uh, in the local papers. Uh, I guess there, we had some good coverage <laughs> from our last meeting, evidently. Um, I surprisingly received calls from quite a few citizens after reading several articles um, indicating that they felt that I have a bias against casino gambling or casino gaming in Massachusetts, to which I pointed out that I have no opinion on this uh, matter as part of the Western Mass Casino Task Force. It came about by there was a request at our last meeting for the Mohican Sun to meet with uh, the Western Mass Casino Task Force to give a presentation uh, to which I was quoted, to which was accurately quoted, that I felt it would be improper to have them come forward since they're the only known entity. I felt that the Casino Task Force is assigned specifically to work together as area communities to help influence legislation in the event a casino is put in place, whether it's in Palmer, or whether it's in Warren, or wherever it is. So just the concerns, um, I felt that if the board of the casino, Western Mass Casino Task Force, had the person in, we would give the appearance that we've already, this is a done deal, this is the person coming in. And so I just want to let people know that at our last meeting, although I spoke against having um, a week and some come forward, uh, that was primarily because it was inappropriate for that group to look into any bit or any entity that's interested. I think we can't give the perception of uh, doing that. And I stated that I felt it was a way of marketing that I was completely against. Um, as I stated, I'm not publicly giving any opinion or any uh, view of how I view about casino uh, gambling in Massachusetts. My only role in this group is to look at all the facts and make a determination, share with this board, as far as what's best for Belchertown. So I just want to clarify that with the public. 